So, Spoo, how do you like your ramen? I like my ramen so good, it's like an explosion in the crotch. Today on the show. Welcome back, Scallywags. Hope you guys had a good weekend. It's time once again for what you might have missed. Mm, and yeah. we got some, we got some, uh, <laughs> got some interesting ones today. Really interesting, yeah. Very yes, much yes, so. Yes. What you got? Um, well, it's been hot of late. Been really hot. Several, several days. It's not been this hot, though. Out of Washington State, a truck was delivering dough. And it was so hot, the dough began to rise. And I'm not talking about the money. I'm talking about bread dough. Uh, totally Washington could State, have set that up with how hot was, was it? it? Yeah. it Washington was State so troopers responded to a semi truck on the interstate that started to lose its load of bread dough when the heat caused the yeast to rise. Trooper Brooke, Brooke Bova, Brooke Bova, the public information officer for District 1 in Thurston and Pierce counties, tweeted a photo showing the back of the truck with the rising dough spilling out through the top and back of the trailer. The truck was northbound on Interstate 5 near the 56th Street ramp in the Tacoma area. Just when you thought you've seen it all, dough, the heat, <laughs> dough! the heat is making it rise. So, and this is in Washington State. Now, I mean, we've we've seen a lot of stuff from like Arizona where it was so hot there that people were were actually baking cookies mm -hmm. inside their car. It was hot enough that the the pavement and the road was buckling and everything. Yeah. But that's that's a different level. So it's a little further up north. My question is, though, like, I mean, you, it's one thing to have, like, you know, sacks of flour or stuff like that, but why did they have already pre-made dough I'm in, wondering, the, in basically, like, what looks like a dump truck or a box trailer? Yeah, I'm wondering if the truck wasn't supposed to be refrigerated and somewhere during the trip the refrigeration well, I mean, it just, that's, it just looks like a box trailer. It it's does just, look like a, a box trailer. It box trailer. really I mean, looks like a box trailer, but... Um, I don't know, but it doesn't change the fact. Pre-made dough. That but, doesn't seem sanitary to me. Well, it isn't now. I wouldn't, you know, if you... Hey, whatever, whatever works for you. What you got next? Could be worse. Could be uh, could be beetles in your dough. Hey, Ooh, that's a segue. Segue. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, coming to you. For, if you thought that Hunter the Shiba Inu was an amazing animal artist, you've got another creature that might impress you. Meet, uh, what did I say his name was? <laughs> I totally Spike. forgot. Spike. Meet Spike the Beetle. Mm -hmm. Spike. He's got his own Twitter page and everything. Uh, this is a, a stag beetle from Japan. It is capturing the hearts and minds of people around the world with his original drawings. Spike and his owner, an English teacher named Mandy, skyrocketed to internet fame uh, whenever she tweeted out to... Uh, experimenting with things uh, that Spike could grab a hold of and found that he could hold on to markers and paint brushes and things like that and before we actually uh, did this story I'd already had the story pulled up and everything but uh, uh, turns out that Scoochie actually uh, was is a big fan of Spikes I do. I love so Spike. so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> we got a beetle that it's, does well, art. I, you know, I, I'm I, sure you probably sell those paintings for millions of dollars. I just looked over there. Uh, it says on eBay you can go to $150 or more mm. for, for a beetle painting. I buy. am in the wrong line of work. I'm going to go out to the yard, grab a couple of bugs, or I'll be back. Yeah, okay. Maybe we can talk Bella into painting something. Maybe, you know what? We, no, might no, be able to, we might be able to train her. Yeah. Maybe like... No, no. Oh, God. What happened? I spooked her. Oh well, and you're outside. Sorry, that was uh, <laughs> that was that was different. Yeah. Um, yeah. camera shake there. Sorry. We Sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, hey, anyway, <laughs> so speaking of camera shakes and things that are uh, naturally occurring, I got one out of New York. Ah. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, it's from July 21st. Uh, New York man security. Uh, camera captured a moment strong winds from a tornadic thunderstorm lifted his car off the ground. Kevin Crass posted a video to Facebook showing footage from a home security camera that was pointed at his driveway in Hamburg during the Thursday storm that saw two tornadoes touch down in the town. The video shows cars, 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 car becoming briefly airborne in the high winds before crashing into nearby tree and then a trailer crashing into it. Mm. Uh, the weather service in New York reported two tornadoes touched down about 20 minutes apart on Thursday's storm. The sheer force of nature. Nature will always win. Oh, I, yeah. I have no questions about that. No matter how great or powerful mankind becomes, 
nature will find a way. Nah, that went deep there for a minute. We did a uh, an episode a while back there on on like extreme weather or weird weather stuff like that. So uh, that, that I wish we would have had this video back then. I mean, there, I, there's plenty of videos floating around nowadays from uh, you know different tornadoes and stuff like that. I saw like a really cool one from from like when the Joplin thing happened. It was a, uh, a backyard. They had like trampoline and stuff like that, and it just goes flying. But uh, yeah, I, I love watching watching videos from tornadoes and stuff. I grew up in Tornado Alley, and and so tornadoes don't really scare me anymore. But the uh, neatest one I've seen was uh, from the El Reno tornado a couple years back in Oklahoma, yeah. uh, where the Weather Channel's crew got caught in it. Oh yeah, and they actually filmed their car being tossed in yeah. the tornado, and it was pretty cool looking. Uh, nobody got hurt, thank goodness for that. Anyway, speaking so, of uh, CCTV footage, this one's a little different. This is this is just hilarious. This. I, I love when 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 somebody does something that is just so outlandishly stupid that it just turns comical. Now this is coming out of uh, from over in China. A uh, a thief thought that he had the perfect way to avoid being caught during a burglary. He disguised himself as a ghost. <laughs> So he created a fake ghost to fake it. Yeah, <laughs> back I think it was our second, second episode, episode ever. Yeah. We, we did uh, we did uh, uh, ghost videos, which we're gonna have another one of those coming up here fairly soon. Um, that uh, we taught that we we almost showed this one video that we were looking for different things on um, how to prove ghosts or most realistic looking ghosts and things like that. And we actually came across a video that was titled "How to Hoax a Fake Ghost," and. Uh, <laughs> that, that's a double I mean, negative. I, I mean, the only way to hoax a fake ghost is to film a real one. Yeah. So. So I, which that's, well. Yeah. Maybe, anyway. maybe we'll go into that someday. We'll get just into like that another time. Awkwardly titled videos or something. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, know. anyway, Crook was caught on camera, wrapped in a white sheet so he could sneak past CCTV <laughs> cameras. The uh, footage shows the burglar climbing a set of stairs and peering around the corner into the hall. Um, he spots a CCTV camera mounted on the wall in front of him and quickly darts back into cover. The next moment, he disappears back downstairs as he works out how to make it past the camera. And then he shows back up wearing a sheet. All in all, it takes the guy about 20 minutes to come up with that plan. Wow. <laughs> so not only do you have the idea to wrap yourself in a sheet and pretend that you're a ghost, but it takes you 20 minutes to come up with that. Well, idea. he had to find the sheet. Well, I'm mean, true, true. And That's you know, true. sometimes it takes a while to cut the aisles out. Yeah. So he floats past the camera and all the <laughs> Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. So, um, from, from one scary situation to another scary situation. You think you're good at saving money? Yeah, you think you're real good at saving you money? Nothing, nothing on this guy. Uh, he, let's see, where is this from? A uh, Canadian man from July from 20th uh, spent $550 building a set of stairs. $550 on the set of stairs. You know what was Not estimated bad. the cost for uh, the city? How much did the city want to pay? The for city thing? was estimating the cost at $65,000. $550. Addy Estelle, a re retired mechanic, said he decided to build the stairs himself after one of his neighbors fell down an incline leading to the community garden in Tom Riley Park. The city of Toronto later warned Estelle the stairs may be tore down since they weren't built according to city regulations. And I quote Estelle, or um, Gail Rutherford, Estelle's wife, I've seen so many people fall over that rocky path that there was to begin with. It's a huge improvement over what was there. Uh, Estelle told the Global News he contacted the counts, uh, counselor, Justin Decinio, about having the city build the stairs and was told it would cost between 65 now get this, sixty-five and a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Going at sixty-five thousand, that's only 0.8 percent that that he made these stairs for. You know, for a hundred thousand dollars, they should be able to put flip an escalator. Or eight percent, I guess. Not. Um, it, no, took a, it, it took them fourteen hours. Math. Fourteen hours to build the stairs, and you know what? He had a homeless man helping with that. Hmm. You know how many people would have probably done that in the government work? dozen probably and they would have stood around for yep. three weeks and uh yeah um city uh, bylaw officials taped off the staircase while officials determined what to do with it uh estelle was ch not charged with violation uh i think everyone will understand that this will be more than 550 dollars mayor john troy said we just can't have people decide to go out to home depot and build a staircase in a park Why? because that's what they would like to have 
you know what? Then don't overcharge. Yeah. Seriously, he just proved to you that can be done for under a thousand dollars. So now you should do it for under a thousand dollars. Yeah. And what's sad is that he'll probably end up getting a fine yeah. of several thousand yeah. dollars. I mean, the staircase doesn't look bad. I mean, it's, it's I've built staircases staircase. like that in, in theater, and they held up just fine. Yeah. So this is totally different. <laughs> this is this is probably out of all of the Mondays we have done. This is hands down my favorite story I've ever got to report on. And I am so, I'm so I'm proud. I'm a, lot, I'm a little misty eyed. Well, we got to give credit who brought this to our attention. El Chapo sent this to us last night. You're welcome. He just, he just yelled, you're welcome from the next room. No, no. Uh, he's going to be on, a, he'll be on an episode that later this week there, so you guys get to see El Chapo again. Um, he's, he's growing quite the fan base. He is. But, uh, but yeah, we, <laughs> I don't even know how, how to like lead into this story, so I'm just going to jump into it. Um, basically, a man that was cooking ramen in a Speedo accidentally shot himself in Wait, the nuts with what? 20 bottle rockets. No, nah, the headline tells a story. I don't know where to go from there. I guess this would explain, uh, this This would help to explain just who, what, why, when, and how of this cartoon-like catastrophe. A man in Taiwan was playing video games in just his speedo, decided to make some ramen noodles. A box of bottle rockets was a little too close to the open flames of the stove and started to fire. The rockets were aimed right at the man's crotch. So uh, let's go right to the scene as it unfolds. I'm just reading this verbatim here. And this is the quote that it gives. This is the quote. It was these sounds that alerted neighbors to call the fire department. When the emergency workers opened the door to Mr. Yi's room, they could vaguely see him through a cloud of smoke wearing a Speedo on all fours, legs spread, and yelling, Ow! Mr. Yi later described the ordeal to the media, saying that all fireworks seemed to fly as they somehow intended to hit him in his banana hammock. His only defense was to flail his feet wild, wild, wildly man, I can't talk today, in a desperate attempt to block one or two of them. The man was treated and released from the hospital with only minor bruises and burns to his crotch. And in case you're worried, the ramen was ruined. Dang, that's that's the most. I know that that is that's the saddest. It part. really sucks when you ruin good ramen. It does, it really yeah. does. So I think that's gonna about wrap it up today, that's gonna guys. Be, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, there's nowhere else to go after that. Fireworks to the crotch. I don't think we can really go anywhere else but yeah. to say. Um, and, and speaking of fireworks to the crotch, we we finally got around this, this ah, over the weekend. Finally. finally got around to releasing the uh, the Fourth of July video. So I hope you guys got a chance to watch that. If not, it's a chance to see us just being stupid. Just really being us. I mean, really. Yeah, the, you're seeing us in our natural settings. So, Escucci is all about this, this beetle <laughs> painting and eating stuff. Watermelon. He's eating watermelon while he's painting. So I'm more about so, yeah. eating some So, if you haven't seen that yet, go back, check it out after, the, after you're watching this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's only four weeks late, so I threw a, a few little jabs at ourselves in there for <laughs> waiting so long to release it. But It's uh, okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's get to fun. see us in our natural mm -hmm. settings, acting like idiots. <laughs> But, uh, but hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those good things. Do all the YouTubes, the like, the share, the subscribe. Please get your, uh, you know, talk to your friends, get them in here. There is a lot, a lot of stuff of going on in the background there. today. And we apologize for that. Bella's a little rambunctious today. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow. And until then. Hi, I'm Hemlock from Springfield. And here's your Russian clip for the day.